24, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. We have mostly cloudy skies with the sun peeking through at times here on our new motors tower cam. And we finally have some decent color on the trees. You can see a pretty shot, even with this pretty low gray overcast, uh, you can still see the nice colors. So uh, this will be a good week to check them out, even though the weather may not be the best today. Uh, we'll have some uh, pretty decent weather over the next couple of days, I think, to check out the colors on the trees. So we do have, again, those overcast conditions for now. And the latest on our storm tracker is showing that we do have uh, some of those uh, showers, even some bended thunder, a lot of lightning out over the lake, but it stayed uh, well to our north and east and hit Chautauqua County and out toward Buffalo. You can see uh, some pretty good rain showers with those, but uh, we have some scattered showers forming, mainly in the higher elevations, new ones forming here near Cory. As the northwest flow rises a little bit with the elevation and causes some of that upward motion, so we're getting a few of those showers. Uh, here in Erie, probably we going to be a dry one after all. Thought that front would be a little more active, but it just didn't really kick into gear. One system that is kicking into gear, this is Willa. Typically, we don't uh, think too much about Pacific hurricanes. This one about to make uh, landfall. It's a strong Cat 3 right now, 125 mile an hour winds, uh, because part of it is now making its way on shore near Guadalajara, of all places there. And the low is going to move uh, in an unusual direction, going to move across the mountains of Mexico. That should really tear apart the winds, but the moisture is going to be there. And uh, why we even talk about this is this low may have an effect in our weather as we head on toward the weekend because it is expected to move into the Gulf states. Texas already pounded by a lot of rain, so there'll uh, be uh, some bad flooding there from uh, the remnants of Willa, which uh, will probably hit uh, Texas sometime tomorrow afternoon and into the Gulf Coast on Thursday. Where it goes from there is still kind of up in the air. It may go out North Carolina and out to sea, or it may go up the East Coast which will give us a better chance of some showers. Temperatures in Erie County right now, take your pick, 49 or 50 uh, across much of Erie County. Uh, Crawford County, a little bit milder. The front, uh, the cooler air hasn't come in just yet. These are probably your high temperatures for the day. Woodcock Borough, 53. Meadville, Paddy has 52. 51 for Sagertown. Pittsfield, 48. Tiddy at 50. 50 degrees. So uh, here's a look. You can see uh, the uh, cold front coming through. A lot of clouds forming in that northwest flow and other uh, backlash clouds coming across Ontario uh, with a little sun in between. This is going to be turning from a frontal effect to more lake effect. And you know, we sometimes get those uh, patches of sunshine through the clouds. But the northwest flow will be with us over the next couple of days. Now, the high pressure is still far off on Wednesday. That means a lot of clouds tomorrow. But uh, the air, the moisture, very shallow. So, not expecting much in the way of precipitation. High pressure will give us more sun, but still chilly on Thursday. So, for today, Hill on the Lakeshore, mostly cloudy, chance of a few showers, temperatures falling and holding in the middle to upper 40s with a good wind off the lake. Plenty of clouds, a few showers on the inland side, temperatures eventually falling into the upper. 40s. Showers most likely in the mountains, especially over the next hour or two, and uh, your temperatures upper 40s. Chance of a few showers or flakes for tonight into tomorrow, but not much here. Highs tomorrow in the lower to mid 40s. And from your weather authority, uh, we'll have some more sunshine as we head on toward Thursday. Temperatures in the mid 40s. Friday should see more clouds in 52. And again, depending on the path of Willow, we'll determine our chances of showers. Looks like we'll see something for Saturday and Sunday. Updates to that forecast, you can find them anytime at Chiriri.com. Yeah, I mean, it's a 